So hi and welcome to this video. So today we're going to be doing is we're going to be finishing off the my videos page on our uh, website and then we're also going to be um, starting to display videos on the uh, channel pages if we have time. So uh, well that's all we that's all I have to say at the beginning so let's get started. So uh, here I am on the my videos page. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over to the uh, actual my videos page in the web browser. And as you can see, this is where we left off in the last video. And what we're going to do is we're going to put some links underneath here that say things like edit video, um, add thumbnail and delete video and things like that. Uh, so let's go into the My Videos page and let's uh, find this div. And then underneath here, what we're going to do is we're just going to create a new div. And then inside it, we're just going to create a link to start with. Whoops. Um, and the link's gonna say edit video, so we're gonna go to edit underscore video dot php. Uh, we also need to put like um, a question mark and then uh, an argument, but uh, we'll leave that like that for now. And we'll just say edit video. Then what we'll say is space, and then we'll put one of these sort of straight down uh, horizontal or I mean vertical lines. And then we'll put in another link and for simplicity in the start to save time, we're just going to copy uh, the existing one. So I've pasted it in twice and what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this one to edit thumbnail. Uh, and then I'm change this one to um, uh, delete video. And then I'll just uh, change this to uh, delete. And we'll just get rid of this one with the, uh, this uh, heart or vertical line at the end. And uh, we will uh, come back to our page and see what it looks like. Okay, so we obviously don't want them down here. We want them inside this div. So what we're going to do is we're just going to come back over here. And we're going to say... Um, we're going to select all that, we're going to copy it, and then we're just going to paste it above the keywords. And that's what we wanted, we wanted it to be uh, above the keywords, but as you can see, we've pushed the keywords out of the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the Chrome Developer Tools to um, fix this and see uh, what we're doing wrong. So what we're going to do is we're just going to expand this div by clicking the wee arrow. We're going to scroll down, uh, and then in here it says Video Tags. What we're going to do is actually we'll go up to my video div and we'll uh, increase the height of it from 100 pixels. So what I'm doing is I'm just pressing the um, up arrow and it's just increasing the size to the size that we would want. And it's probably the size we want is 115. So that means we have to come into our uh, CSS file. So if I go back to our uh, sublime text file and then I come up here into the, my, or to the video box folder. And then what we want to do is we want to look for the CSS folder. And then we get stylesheet.css and we drag it into uh, the text editor and scroll to the bottom. And we increase this from 100 to 115. Uh, just like we did in the Chrome developer tools. So as you can see it looks like it's perfect in the minute but now if we refresh what might happen is it should uh, undo. But since we added the CSS file it wouldn't but just I said that because sometimes I, when you added a CSS file you have to actually go to it before um, it gives you the... Uh, well, for example, let me see. Uh, if I go to the CSS directory and I go to stylesheet.css or site style.css and scroll down, as you can see uh, up here, our stylesheet updated. But uh, sometimes when you're doing it on a production web server, it doesn't actually update because it saves a cache version of it uh, from the last time you uh, used it. So it just makes your site load quicker. So because there's sometimes a cast version, whenever you update it, it doesn't actually update straight away. So you have to go to it first, but since we're on a local machine, it is probably why it didn't do it. So if we go back to my videos, uh, we have all our links now that uh, tell us we can, um, that I mean, allow us to do things. But as you can see, if I click on edit video, it gives us loads of errors because we didn't actually uh, specify a video to edit. And what I also want to do is I want to actually go back into the Chrome Developer Tools. Uh, I actually want to right click over the link and inspect element. Uh, and then here's the div we created and what I want to do is I want to add a, a margin on the top of it. So a margin top of uh, 10 pixels. 
And as you can see, what this does, it does is it pushed everything down. Uh, so uh, let me see. Let's try margin bottom. Uh, and let's just decrease this. Okay, so the quickest thing we can actually do is we can just come in here, uh, back into my videos, the PHP, and we uh, just put that back in line, and we uh, create, or we just add a break tag uh, in here. So as you can see, that pushed it down, but we still have this sort of gap underneath, and this doesn't work this time. So what we're going to do is to uh, fix that. So what I want to do is I want to go to the My Videos div and I want to um, open it up with the wee arrow. So I just click the arrow to expand it and I go to the um, Tags div uh, and I see the height of the div. Okay, it says it says it has a margin top of 30 pixels. So what I do, want to do is decrease that. So um, decrease that to... Uh, let's see. What looks right. Uh, we'll change that to fifteen. So we're gonna half that margin. Uh, so we come back into our site style at CSS and we go to well, let's see what it's called. My videos uh, div underscore tags. We go up to that um, up here, and we'll just look for it. So my videos div underscore. Okay, here it is. Uh, so we'll just click that to get rid of it and change this to fifteen pixels. So what I want to do is I want to go back to our web browser, I want to close the Chrome Developer Tools and then I just want to refresh. And as you can th see everything looks a bit better now. So what we need to do is we need to change the edit video, edit thumbnail and delete video buttons so that they actually uh, work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the, uh, I'm going to go back to video box and I'm going to open up um, the edit video page uh, in Sublime Text. So I'll go back to Sublime Text, whoops, uh, Sublime Text, then I open this and I drag it in. And what I want to get is the video ID attribute. So what I want to do is I want to come back to uh, the edit video.php page and then I want to do a question mark video ID equals and then I want to create a PHP block. And what I want to echo is the uh, video ID. So uh, we're not actually getting the video ID from the database yet. So what we need to do is just copy the uh, thumbnail row paste it below and change this to video ID. Uh, I think it's an underscore, so let's just have a look. Um, so let's go to the database, open the table, uh, and video ID, so it's video ID with an underscore. So what I want to do is I just want to echo that out, so I just echo the uh, variable video ID without an underscore, because the variable, okay, for simplicity, I'll just add an underscore. And now if we refresh the page, click on edit video, and it takes us to our video and we're able to edit it. The next thing we want to do is we want to do the exact same thing for edit thumbnail. So uh, since we just included the video ID uh, from the database, we should just be able to copy and paste this in. We've pasted that in, we're going to go back and we're going to refresh. And we're going to see does that work. So we click edit thumbnail. Uh, as you can see, um, object not found. So that's obviously not the name of the page. So let's go down into our folder again. It's uh, upload thumbnail.php is what um, we called it. So I'm just going to open it straight away. Just have a look. And it is actually video ID that we need to get from the URL. So the only thing we need to change is we need to change it from edit thumbnail to upload thumbnail. We want to refresh the page. I want to click on edit thumbnail and as you can see it takes us to our um, our uh, upload thumbnail page. The final thing we want to do is we want to actually allow users to delete a video so to do that what we need to do is we need to go to structure and then what we want to do is we want to click on go we want to click on uh, well we want to type in deleted uh, we want to go to varchar and we just want to set it to equal to three so it's a yes or a no uh, then we click on enter to uh, add that to the table and then we also need to uh, change a couple of things so um, we need to actually go back into the structure 
Uh, there's nothing I forgot. We need to go th click on change. Uh, click on default as defined and set it equal to no. What this will do is every time a, a row is inserted into the or a table is inserted, sorry, a video is inserted into the database, what it'll do is it will um set removed or deleted equal to no automatically, so that way the video doesn't appear to be actually deleted. And then what we want to do is we need to change the upload video to PHP page because if we don't change that, we're going to get some error when we try to uh, upload a video. So uh, upload dot PHP, drag that in. Go down to our query where we insert stuff into the database. We want to change this. Um, we want to just add an extra row on. We could leave it blank, or we'll just put in no, uh, just um, just to make sure we know what everything. What we sort of make sure we know what everything does. Uh, and then now we've added that new row. What we can do is we can get it from the database. So I can um, copy and paste that in. Uh, type in deleted. Deleted. And then what I can do is I can come down here and say, um, if deleted equals equals no. So if the video is not deleted, then we want to uh, show up, show these uh, divs uh, or else what we want to do is we want to say else and then echo uh, nothing. So we echo nothing so that the, um, uh, the video doesn't show up. So uh, what I want to do now is I want to go to, um, I want to create a new page actually. So a new file, and um, we want to save it as uh, delete video. Uh, delete videos of PHP, I want to create some PHP tags and then we'll come back into the my videos page, uh, scroll up and copy the header. Then what I want to do is I just want to say, uh, center actually uh, to keep things simpler what I'm gonna do is it's just gonna say uh, I'm gonna actually copy uh, where is it upload thumbnail I want to copy the video ID from this and I want to paste it up here and then what I want to say is um, MySQL query And what I want to do is I want to say update videos set deleted equal to yes or video underscore ID uh, equals uh, and then I want to put in here video video ID and then what I want to say is header location my underscore videos dot php uh, and then what I want to say it will actually should work so what this will do is whenever we click on um, delete video on the uh, my videos page what it'll do is it'll take us to the delete video dot php page it'll, it'll update the database set deleted equal to yes and then it'll take us back to the my videos page and I know we're not actually deleting the video file because we actually want to keep those things um, sort of as um, archive we sort of just want to archive them I mean you can delete them if you want you can just add a, row, a line of PHP code that would just remove the file if you wanted to uh, but I'm keeping it in the database so for now I'm just going to decide to keep the uh, video files okay now we've done that what we want to do is we want to check test that out so I refresh this page uh, okay uh, we have a problem um, If deleted equals no. Uh, okay, let's check the uh, database. Okay, and the problem is deleted is empty because uh, we didn't set the default first. So what I need to do is edit this. Uh, come down here. Set deleted equal to no. And what I want to do is refresh. We get our um, video back. If I click on delete video. Uh, what should happen now if I refresh is uh, nothing. So let's have a look. Uh, let's just check this really quickly. Uh, deleted equals no still. So obviously our query failed. Um, uh, okay, let's just see. Let's just try this or die. MySQL. Whoops. Error. 
We'll remove the header function for now. We'll click on delete video, which should take us to the page. It says you've an area mask us in tax. Um, okay, so there's something wrong with. Um, Okay, here's the problem. We just need to add another uh, single quote there. Uh, and we will put the header back here. Try it again. And this time it should definitely work. Myvideos.php, we go back to it, we click on delete video. And as you can see, our video got deleted. If we go back to the database now, we click on browse. Uh, we scroll over, it says deleted equals yes. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Unfortunately, I wanted to uh, also add uh, the videos to the channels, but we couldn't do that because we ran out of time. But we um, we did get some good stuff covered today. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Uh, and I will see you next time.